Hi, I'm Rob Portman, a U.S. Senator from Ohio, and I work in this building in Washington, D.C. It's called the U.S. Capitol. At this unusual time when so many kids are home from school, not able to be with their friends or even go to the public libraries, I was asked by the public libraries of Ohio if I would read my favorite children's book. So I'm going to do that for you. I hope you'll enjoy it. This is the Capitol where I work. And here are a couple mice we're going to learn about in a second. Here we go. House mouse, Senate mouse. America's mice have a government too, with presidents, senators, and congress mice who are elected, debate, and vote the popular will. It's a rodent republic on Capitol Hill. There's a Capitol there that looks just like our own, a mouse house and senate of column and stone. House masons and workers copied every detail from the tip of the dome down to every last nail. One day in Mouse, Zuri, a wonderful state, a teacher, Miss Tuft Mouse, at about half past eight, told her class, settle down, everyone, sit up straight. There's a special assignment and it must not be late. The class, all together, for worse or for better, must write to our Congress an interesting letter. You ought to get started, not later but soon, for you must turn it in by this Thursday at noon. Well, the children excited did not waste a minute working hard on their letter and what to put in it. For three classes straight, they wrote and they read, then the letter was finished, and here's what it said. Dear Congress, we think there should be, if you please, a law to establish a national cheese. We like this idea. We hope it will pass. Your sincerely, Miss Toughmouse's second grade class. And Miss Toughmouse, of course, gave the letter an A and mailed it to Congress that very next day, where it went to the mailroom, where mail comes in, in crates from Mouse Zuri, Mouse Mississippi, and other mouse states. The postmaster took it to Longworth McMouse, the capable, confident squeaker of the house. A copy was rushed across to the Senate to the mouse majority leader, Russell Mouse Bennett. Then Longworth called Russell as quick as a blink, a national cheese, well, what do you think? Good idea, the mouse majority leader said back. We'll draw up a bill to get it on track. To make a new law, Congress starts with a bill, a document written with care and with skill. To find the right words, mouse assistants begin at the Library of Congress and the books found within. Next, a committee considers the bill, for it just isn't finished or ready until members discuss it, make changes and more, then finally send it along to the floor. That's the floor of each chamber, the Senate and the House, where each senator and each Congress mouse gets to vote on the bill. And if enough do, the president signs it, if he likes it too. But it's not always easy for all to agree on just what a bill should do, say, or be. For example, the bill for a national cheese caused a big disagreement a lot of unease. Some mice wanted cheddar to take the top spot. Some mice wanted Roquefort, but others said not. Some said Parmesan cheese. Some couldn't care less. So many opinions and such a big mess. Just when it seemed things couldn't get bleaker, the mouse majority leader agreed with the squeaker to gather the best on Capitol Hill to figure out how they could rescue the bill. The rotunda was packed, a good place to meet, when Senator Thurmouse rose to his feet, the oldest and wisest with Congress by years, the squeaker, the leader, the rest were all ears. Our mouse founding fathers, he said, were so wise, they founded our nation around compromise. 
They wrote it all down in the Mouse Constitution. So after much thought, I thought I propose this solution. We are city mice, country mice, large mice, and small. We like many cheeses. In fact, we like them all. But we're Americans first. So let's do this, if you please. Let's agree that American is our national cheese. Bravo, they all shouted. Hooray, they all yelled twice. What a good compromise. What terrific advice. In the House and the Senate, it passed right away, and the president signed it the very next day. And back in Mouse Surrey, where everything started, Miss Tough Mouse's class was very warm-hearted. Look, children, look, she said. Isn't it grand? We live in a wonderful, wonderful land. So that's my favorite children's book, House Mouse, Senate Mouse. And I like the fact that they chose American cheese. <laughs>